Hello, hello, hello everyone. My name is Mason Mags, and today I'm here to bring you the Bubble Soda Riddle, a Monster Springs riddle. Monster Springs is a fictional place filled with friendly monsters. It has rules and scientific principles that differ from Earth's. Even its inhabitants are a little abnormal. Our story takes place in Monster Springs. If you ever find yourself in Monster Springs, be sure to try their favorite soda brand named Physics. It's incredibly fizzy, and it's sold exclusively at Soda Stop, Monster Springs' favorite soda fountain. It comes in five flavors. Cherry, orange, grape, lemon lime, and root beer. This soda fountain is owned by a man named Sean Shatter, a man who loves his job. One day, after a busy day of pouring drinks, Sean Shatter is about to close the place down because he's completely out of soda. But before he can do so, a group of five walks in and asks for some drinks, each person wanting a different flavor. Instead of turning them down, Sean, with his fast-thinking mind, says, If you're willing to wait, I can whip up a fresh batch of soda for you folks. The group willingly agrees to this offer. And quickly, Sean rushes to the back, and before you know it, he has a large pot cooking with all the ingredients for physics. However, before Sean can split the mixture up and add in the individual flavors, he needs to add the final ingredient. Bubble Mungus a liquid that gives physics its fizzy flavor. Normally, you'd only add one ounce, but since Sean is timesing the recipe by five, he needs to add five ounces to the pot. And no more than five ounces. Why? Because in Monster Springs, if you add too much bubble fungus to your soda, it will get so fizzy, the bubbles will come to life and attack who's ever making the soda. So no more than five ounces. But while he was cooking, Sean accidentally knocked over his five ounce jar. Quickly, Sean rushes through his cabinet and he finds two extra jars. One of them measures eight ounces exactly, and the other measures three and a half ounces exactly. Sean needs to use these two jars to add five ounces to his recipe. And he doesn't want to keep the group waiting any longer than he needs to. What's the least amount of moves you need to add exactly five ounces to the pot? If it seems like too much trouble to add the five ounces all at once, then your instincts may tell you that the best way to do this is in intervals. Here's one strategy you may have come up with. First, fill up the eight jar, then pour some of its contents to fill the three and a half jar. Empty the three and a half jar, then do this again, and then you're left with exactly one ounce in the eight jar. You could pour that one ounce in the pot. This process requires six moves. If you do it four more times, you'll end with exactly five ounces in the pot for a total of 30 moves. That's good, but you can do it in fewer. What if, instead of using that one ounce and putting it in the pot, what if we put it in the three and a half jar? Now let's fill up the eight jar again, and we're gonna pour some of its contents to fill the three and a half jar again, but we're not using the same amount of liquid we did before because there was already one ounce in the three and a half jar. And so now there's five and a half ounces in the eight jar. So we're gonna empty the three and a half, do this again. Now we have two ounces in the eight jar and we're up to 11 moves. What do we do now? We're gonna put those two ounces into the three and a half jar, fill up eight again. We're gonna pour some of it into the three and a half. We're again using a smaller amount of liquid. We're gonna do this again. And now we have three ounces in the eight jar and we're up to 17 moves. What are we gonna do with those three ounces? Yep, you guessed it, they're going in the 3.5 jar. Now we're gonna fill up eight again, we're gonna repeat this process. Now we have four ounces in the eight jar and we're up to 23 moves. Now we're gonna pour some of the contents of eight into the 3.5, but the thing about that is there's four ounces in the eight jar 
and so that all won't fit in a 3.5 jar. Half an ounce will be left behind. What do we do now? We're gonna empty the 3.5 jar. We're gonna pour that half ounce into the 3.5. We're gonna fill up eight again. And since there's already one half in the jar, we're going to put three ounces exactly into that jar. And eight minus three equals five ounces. There's exactly five ounces in the eight jar. Pouring that into the pot will require an extra move for a total of 29 moves. One move less than the previous method. That is the least amount of moves you need to add exactly five ounces to the pot. Thank you so much for watching. Today's quote of the day is from Roxana Jones. If you truly want to experience life to its fullest expression, first you must burst the bubble that is not letting you free. Until next time, later!